Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is a problem from the UK Olympiad in 2011. Pause video if you want to give this problem a go. And when you're ready, we'll go through the solution. We'll start this problem by considering the product of x add y add 1 and x add y minus 1. Since we can recognize this is the difference of two squares, which we can write as x plus y all squared minus 1. And expanding this, this is x squared plus y squared minus 1 plus 2xy. Now, given that x add y minus 1 divides x squared plus y squared minus 1, it therefore must also divide 2xy. And so we can conclude that both x add y add 1 and minus 1 must divide 2xy. Now, if we next consider the greatest common divisor of x add y minus 1, and x add y plus 1, then in particular we can notice that it must divide their differences, and so we can say d divides 2. Now by the fact that the lowest common multiple of any two numbers can be written as the product of these two numbers divided by their greatest common divisor, then we can infer that the product of x add y minus 1 and x add y plus 1 must be smaller than or equal to 4xy. And so if we expand and rearrange this equation, we have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is smaller than or equal to 1, which tells us that x minus y all squared is smaller than or equal to 1, implying either x equals y or x is y at 1. And likewise, y can be x plus 1. But consider the case where x equals y then we can conclude that 2x add 1 must divide 2x squared. And so therefore we can say that it must divide x times 2x plus 1 minus 2x squared. But this is equal to x. But then this tells us that 2x add 1 divides x, which is of course nonsense since x is positive. And so we must consider when x and y are consecutive integers and it's not too difficult to check given our initial conditions that both of these are satisfied and so we're done.